Welcome to The Snake Pit, a series of shorter pieces to provide background on the people and places linked in the horrific Epstein child sex trafficking abuse case. Show notes, photographs and links can be found on our website, jeffreyepsteinpodcast.com and you can contact us on Twitter at O'ReallyTruly and Lisa is Lisa Podcasts or send us an email at snarkarellas at gmail.com. Just a reminder, the content of this podcast can be disturbing. Welcome to the Snake Pit. This is Jen, and today I'm reading you a piece that Lisa's researched about Claire Hazel Ivy. Now, Claire Hazel, a.k.a. Lady Ivy, a.k.a. Claire Guinness, was mates with Gisley Maxwell, and allegedly the minder of survivor Maria Farmer when she was trafficked to the Wexner estate in the 1990s. These days, Claire is a high society hostess. Her husband is one of the richest people in the UK. Yes, Ned Guinness is from the Guinness Brewery dynasty. According to Maria Farmer, Claire is also the woman who is the focus of a new article in The Mirror. And I'm quoting The Mirror now. A British socialite could hold vital information about the misery inflicted on young victims of Prince Andrew's pedophile pal Jeffrey Epstein. Lawyers want to quiz the woman, described as striking, tall, blonde, with a posh accent as a potential witness. You may have heard about this on our podcast earlier this week. We profiled a little bit of this. A Sunday Mirror probe can reveal flight logs show that she, Claire Hazel Ivy, travelled on Epstein's private plane. And we're not going to say the name of the plane that everybody's nicknamed it. You know the one we're talking about. The Mirror wrote, The woman, now married to a multi-millionaire, jetted between Epstein's homes in the Caribbean, Florida and New York. There's a Claire Hazel in the Epstein flight log who travelled on the dead sex offender's jet more than 30 times. There's also a Claire Hazel in Epstein's Black Book. Lisa will pop all these details up on our website, which is jeffreyepsteinpodcast.com. She denies wrongdoing, according to the Mirror, and that attorney Josh Schiller, representing one of the victims, said he had contacted her at her UK home. I can confirm that we have already asked to interview her, he told the Mirror. Mr. Sheila represents victims, including Virginia Gruffet, whose claims are central to the scandal engulfing the Queen's son, Prince Andrew. So what have we found out about Claire Hazel Ivy? And what does she know, if anything, about the Epstein criminal enterprise? Claire was 25 when she married the Marlborough-educated Ned, who at that time was 31. She was working on a cookbook to raise money for children's charities. Oh, bless her when they met at a dinner party in the year 2000. They are known to locals as Ned and Claire, and they were married in 2001 at Elverdeen's Church of St Andrew and St Patrick. In 2006, Claire was involved in the presentation for the Commitment to Care Award for UNICEF, according to Condé Nast, who noted that Claire had studied in England and the States and had worked in interior design and public relations. We've got some more tidbits up on the website and we'd like to do a shout out to Jay from Twitter who managed to get some information about Claire because the time before she was married, well, that information is very limited. And to end today's snake pit, I've just got a small piece that Lisa wrote and sent through to me a moment ago. I just want to talk a bit about how Jen and I conduct our work on the Prince and the Pervert podcast. We have both worked as journalists, so I can guarantee to you we won't produce fiction. Or as much as I hate the term, fake news. Plus, we are not here to profit from you. This podcast is a labour of love and we are determined to vet our information and we are absolutely not here to promote ourselves or to compete with other content providers. This case is about women who were abused, full stop. It's about justice and we work on this case every single day. And it should never be turned into a circus. Thank you and everyone stay safe.